Hello learners, welcome again to another lesson in statistics and probability and we are now on lesson 12 and this is all about converting a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. So from our previous video lessons, I have mentioned about the z-score. So in this lesson, we will know more about the z-score. Our lesson, lesson objectives in this lesson, so you are expected to find the z-value of a given raw score, find the raw score of a given z-value, and solve problems in real-life situations or real-life scenarios involving normal random variable and standard normal random, standard normal variable. So just as a recap, a short recap, from our previous lessons, we have learned about the empirical rule, about the 3 sigma rule or the 6 to 8, 95 and 99.7. So you already know, you have, all, you have learned that 68% of the data lie within one standard deviation of the means, it's either in any direction, 95% of the data falls, 95% uh, of the data falls within two standard deviations of the mean in any direction and three standard deviations of the mean uh, the data falls the 99.7% per, of the data falls within three standard deviations of the mean and you have observed that under the normal curve we have the z-scores or the values I have mentioned already z-scores so these are called the z-scores so from uh, to the right of the mean, you have there the positive values from 0, 1, 2, 3, and they are um, the distance between the values is 1 because in normal curve, the standard deviation is 1 and the mean is 0. So, again, to the right of the mean, we have positive values such as 1, 2, 3, and to the right, uh, to the left, I mean, to the left of the mean, we have negative values values so all in all we have six standard deviations so again these scores under the normal curve is what we call z scores or z value so what is the z score the z score is a measure of relative standing for instance uh, you got a score of 40 from your summative test or from your long test out of 100 if you want to determine uh, if your score is above the mean or below the mean is it below the average or above the average you may use the z-score. You may also determine uh, your rank, the, per, yeah, the rank of your score using the z-score. It also gives you an idea how far a data is from the mean. Example, if you have a score again of 40, so gaano siya, gaano siya kalayo sa ating average score or from the mean? So, masya, mal, malapit lang ba siya sa average? or malayo siya sa average natin. So, it gives you an idea of how of how far or the distance of, the, of your score from the mean. Next, it is used to compare results to a normal population. So, pag, um, let's observe, uh, please observe that a score of 40, we cannot see a score of 40 sa ating normal curve or normal distribution. Wala tayong makikita ang 40 dyan. So, these are, uh, since the scores are only limited to these values from negative 3 to positive 3 because there are only 6 um, values under the normal curve we have to use the z-score so your 40 is the normal score so kailangan nating uh, gumamit ng z-score so kailangan lang nating i-convert yung 40 sa z-score sa standard score or z-score para ma-compare natin yung um, score mo yung normal score mo ating mean. So, we use, to, we use z-score to compare results to a normal population. Next, it is convenient to use when comparing data to the average or mean value. Example, um, example your height. Let's have another example your height. So, yeah, the values of height may take um, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5, so on and so forth. 4, 2, so napaka, napakaraming data ang uh, kailangan nating harapin when we are dealing with normal scores or normal values. So, hindi natin kayang um, solve or hindi natin kayang i-interpret lahat-lahat ng values na yun. So, given lahat-lahat ng values, ito lang i-include natin sa ating computation. So, we need z-score 
uh, we need z score to compare each value to the average or mean value so mas mas madaling gawin mas madaling ikumpara yung score natin or yung height natin when we convert it to z score so we can compare it to the average or mean value so example gawin nating example pag if you visit a country say for example you visit korea so um, hindi pwedeng gamitin natin yung pera natin sa pinas para ipambili ng kahit ano when we are in korea so we need we need to use the korean money so that's why um, we are converting our philippine money into korean money para magamit natin ito kung uh, bibili tayo ng kahit ano sa bansang korea so ganun din sa so z-score at sa normal score so hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung normal score score for example yung height ng 5252 so on so, because it is not convenient to use because um, it is overwhelming napakaraming values ang haharapin natin so ang gaang i-include natin but if we use z score napakadali lang para sa atin para i-compare para malaman kung nasaan banda yung value natin kung mas mataas ba ito sa mean or mababa sa mean natin so we can use the z score so this is the most convenient way para magamit natin para ma-interpret natin yung uh, yung ating values which are continuous so again we have the term normal when we say normal normal scores we are talking about the raw score so yung ginagamit natin sa conti as continuous random variables example your score your body temperature your weight your your exact weight your height so the values which are continuous are continuous in nature so those are normal scores ano naman yung z scores so yung z scores are these so these are the z scores we can also take values in between so we can also have 0 0.1 1.2 and so on. So these are the z-scores. It's limited only at until 3 or more than 3. So these are the z-scores. Now, if we want to convert a z-score into a normal score, so or this normal score to z-score, we may use this following formula. So to find for the z-score, for the to find the equivalent raw score into z-score the equivalent of raw score into z-score so we may use this uh, formula so z is equal to x x is the raw score or the normal score minus mu divided by standard deviation this is when we are dealing with the population data but when we are dealing with sample data we may use the sample mean instead of the population mean and sample standard deviation instead of population standard deviation this is when we are calculating the Z, when we are looking for the Z na ang given is raw score or normal score. So let's take this example, example number one. So para maunawaan natin ng mabuti kung paano ba kinoconvert yung Z score or yung raw score sa Z value. So given the mean, mu is equal to 30 and the standard deviation is equal to 4, the population of scores in statistics and probability find the z value that corresponds to a score of x which is equal to 38. So first, ang kailangan natin gawin is identify natin yung given sa problem natin. So we will write the given value. So we have here the mean, I the mean. So this we are dealing with the population score. So th therefore we have here the mean, the mean population mean which is 30. The population standard deviation, which is 4, and the raw score, which is 30. So, identify lang natin muna yung given values para mas madali para sa atin na gamitin yung formula. So, after identifying the given values, step 2, we're going to use this formula, so which is z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. So, we are going to substitute the values. So, the x, our x is 38. The population mean is 30 and the standard deviation is 4. So just do the process. Subtract 38 minus 30, so that is 8 divided by 4. So compute the z value. Therefore, the value is 8 divided by 4 or 2. 
Therefore, ang equivalent ng 38 na score, kapag meron tayong mean na 30 and standard deviation of 4 is 2. So, the equivalent of 38 is 2. So, again, this is the normal score while this is the C-score. So, equivalent ng C-score ng raw score na 38, the D-score is 2. So, pwede na natin siyang magamit sa ating normal curve or sa standard, uh, sa standard normal curve. Therefore, the d-value that corresponds to the raw score is 38 is 2 in a distribution. So, pag igagraph natin siya sa ating normal curve, you, you simply draw the normal curve, identify the z-scores under the normal curve, label it. So, of course, the mean is found on the center of the curve and ang distance ng mga scores natin is one standard deviation. Now, observe that this is the mean 30 and the standard deviation, yung distance nila is at isa from the mean is 4. So, that's why we have here from 0 to 1, it's 4 standard deviations. Same sa, sa kaliwa natin. So, yung distance nila sa isa't isa is 4 standard deviations. And if you have noticed, our 38 is, the value of our raw score 38 is 2 when we are dealing with C score. So, ganito tayo, uh, ganito ang gagawin natin pag i-graph natin yung raw score natin at i-identify natin kung ano yung value niya as the D score or D values. Ano yung um, equivalent niya as the D score natin? Example number 2, this time we're going to find the raw score if we have a given of z-score. So find the raw score in an aptitude test with a sample mean, this is sample mean, this is small letter x with a bar on top of it. So with a sample mean of 80, standard deviation of 15, and z-score of 0.52. So what shall we do? So step 1, you should identify the given values. So we should find the important characters here in our problem. So we have here the sample mean, the standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, of course, the z-score. So you have there the sample mean of 80, the z-score of 5200s, and the standard deviation of 15. So next step, we're going to use a formula to solve the raw score, but I did not present this, the formula on how, on how to find the raw score. So what, what we need to do is we're going to modify or derive the formula from the formula that we have presented a while ago. So before we, if, you're go, if you know how to derive a formula, you will arrive at the formula. So again, we will derive, we will find a raw score formula using the z-score formula. So since we're dealing with sample, we will use it this formula. So I will show you how to derive the formula for the raw score. So assuming that there is one denominator here, we're going to use apply the cross multiplication as a shortcut. So multiply z times s, so it's z s. Next, since um, the multiplier is 1, so the result is itself. So this is x bar, which is the sample mean minus x bar. Now, we are interested on solving for x. So, to do that, we will eliminate the x bar here, the negative x bar. So, to do that, we, will, we shall add x bar for us to eliminate this negative x bar. So, it's negative x bar plus x bar is 0. This is eliminated. So, kung anong ginawa natin sa kabilang side, yun din yung gagawin natin because we have here an equal sign. So, if we add um, x bar, we also add x bar to the left side. So therefore, x yung natira na lang, since this is eliminated, so therefore x is equal to x bar plus z times s. So that's why we arrived at this formula so to find for x. So therefore, rho score is equal to sample mean plus z times the sample standard deviation. So we're going to substitute the values in the formula. So nahanap na natin yung mga given, so isa substitute natin ito sa mga um, values or sa mga yes sa i-substitute natin ito sa ating formula 
So our sample mean is 80, the z-score is 0 0.52, and the standard deviation is 15. So just do the process. First, you're going to multiply 0 0.52 times 15 and add the result to 80. So by doing that, um, our uh, result would be so 0 0.52 times 15 is 7 and 8 tenths plus 80, that is equivalent to 87 and 8 tenths. So the raw score, ang value ng z-score na 0 0.52, ang normal score niya is 87.8. So again, yung raw score natin na may value na z-score of 0 0.52 is equal to 87.8. Therefore, thus, the raw score is 87.8 when z is equal to 0 0.52. So that, that is how we look for the raw score when the given is the score, the mean, and the standard deviation. And if we're going to plot or to graph the scores, the raw scores with a mean of 80 and standard deviation of 15, so mahanap natin yung 87.8 dito sa gitna ng 0 at 1 since the value of 87.8 .8, 87.8 is 0 0.52. So, um, more than half siya. And dito siya sa bandang gitna ng 0 and 1. So, that's it. That is how we convert our raw score into a... Uh, how we convert a z-score into a raw score. Then we will have a problem solving as our example number 3. So, suppose two of your friends, Anna and Jan, took an entrance exam in different universities. Anna's score is 140 with a mean of 125 and a standard deviation of 15, while John's score is 90 with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 15. So who among them scored better than their peers? So if uh, looking at their score, kung titignan nyo natin yung score nila, mas mataas yung nakuha ni Anna kaysa kay John. Pero, ang problem natin dito, um, kailangan nating i-determine sino ba yung uh, nag, mas nag-umangat sa mga naging kas, um, kasama nila sa pagkuha ng entrance exam. So again, they took exam in different universities. So iba-iba yung grupo nila. So we're going to determine sino ba sa kanilang dalawa yung uh, mas, mas nag-perform sa nakuhang ng scores compared sa kanilang mga kasabay sa pagkuha ng exam. So, who among them scored better than their peers, si Anna ba or si Jan? So, to solve this problem, we need to standardize the two scores. Ibig sabihin ng standardize, kailangan natin i-convert yung mga raw score nila, yung normal score, scores nila, into z-score. So, by doing that, we will use the formula um, we ha you have learned a while ago. So, the z-score, the x, or the raw score of Anna is 140. The mean score, I the mean, yes, the mean score of their group is 125 divided by 15. So 140 minus 125 divided by 15, that is equal to 1. Since 140 minus 125 is 15 divided by divided by 15 is 1. So by to John, these the raw score of John is 90 minus 80, which is the mean of their group. Divided by 5, which is the standard deviation. So, 90 minus 80 is equal to 10. Divided by 5 is equal to 2. So, compare. Compare the two scores. The, score, the z-score of Anna. And the equivalent of the, ROSC of the test score of John. So, John has a higher z-value compared to Anna. Therefore, John performed better than Anna. So when comparing z-scores, always remember that when we are dealing with positive values, positive z-scores, which are located to the, to the right of the mean, habang lumalayo yung z-score natin sa ating mean, tumataas yung value niya. So always remember that values to the right of the mean are increasing. Habang sa negative side naman, kapag ang z-score natin is negative, so, kapag mas malapit siya, habang malapit siya, kung ano yung mas malapit sa zero natin or sa mean, mas mataas yung value niya. So, again, values to the left of the mean are, are decreasing. So, again, pag to the right or positive yung z values natin, kapag lumalay siya sa mean natin, mas mataas yung value niya. Pero, kapag negative siya, habang uh, lumalayo siya, 
lumalayo siya sa mean natin, mababa naman yung value niya. So, kung ano yung mas malapit sa mean, mas mataas yung value niya. Ito ay kapag negative ang ating value. So, again, um, John, John compare, uh, perform better compared to his uh, peers. It's time for your activity. So, do your task. I hope nakam nakatulong yung discussion natin sa lesson na ito para is para magawa ninyo yung mga activities under the under the part under part 4 which is the activity proper and of course do not forget to um, write your reflection in your reflection journal uh, answer questions from your head heart bean and back so that would be all for for this lesson thank you for listening thank you for watching I hope uh, this helped you in understanding your lesson in lesson 12. So again, I would like to take uh, give credits to all the writers of the learning activity sheets which I used here in our lesson. So thank you so much for uh, giving us this learning activity sheets. That would be all. Thank you.